Hello and welcome to me playing some more Final Fantasy IX. Uh, when last we left off, we just beat Kuja, and we lost to the next boss. So, um, I believe that after we... Does it actually give me an option? Uh, because I'm going to, if I do, I'm going to rearrange. Otherwise, I'm going to... Uh, start over and then have to rebeat Kuja. Uh, because I did not have a good setup. And this is very loud in my head. I don't have a good setup. Anyway, um, let's see here. Let's speed this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we continue going. Ah. Uh, All right. Honestly, I'm okay with this. Don't screw up, Queena. Uh, Freya. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, let's see here. Alright, so. What does everybody have? You have that. Um. Shadow damage. Raises fire elemental attack. I'm going to do this one. Absorb shadow. Alright. Shadow damage, perfect. Uh, how much is this? Oh, that actually raises it. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with that. Grand armor. The greatest helm. That's not... Mm. Uh, magic defense. Actually, let's go with Grand Helm. Alright. I can't believe that's her best weapon. That, well, at least that I have. Shadow damage. Wind in. All right, you priests, racket. We don't care. Earth damage reduced. Shadow damage reduced. Wind damage reduced. Angel earrings. Um. Okay, so let's go with this. Alright. Auto haste, auto regen. I want to keep that on. Okay, so. Um, let's get rid of that. I want jelly. And I think I want. Definitely want that. Oh, I don't need this, do I? Oh, I can get rid of Master Thief as well. I don't need either one of those. All right. Let's see. What else can I grab? Locomotion. Good. Insomniac. Good. Um. Auto float. You know what? Let's auto float him. Yeah, let's auto float him. Okay. And then do I still have... Oh, and Gamble Defense. Perfect. Alright, so we'll do Gamble Defense. Get rid of that as well. 
Alright, we don't need level up. We don't need ability up. Alright, we need Insomniac. Uh, Bright Eyes Jelly. And that's it. Um, Alright. Um, you know, we'll just give you back to high jump. Alright. Uh, ability up. Um, MP absorb. I don't need that. Insomniac. And jelly. Perfect. Alright. I need half MP. Um... Wow, you just do not have the things, do you? I've already given up a lot. Man. Alright, well, let's go with Jelly, Antibody, Insomniac as well. Alright. I think that's about as ready as I'm going to be. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, the main reason I switched Queena out for, um, or uh, switched, um, what's his name for Queena? Uh, Amara for Queena is because Queena has A, auto life, and B, has the mass remedy on everybody. So, this thing does a ton of statuses that honestly just aren't. that are that I can't get immunity to all right uh wait angel snack right there Oh, Freya, did you just die? No, you didn't. Okay. Alright, thievery. Wait, lucky seven? Let's go with that. Alright. Uh, Dragon's Crest. Necron. Alright. Auto life, you. I didn't even see how much I did. Grand cross skill, lucky seven. Yes, I've seen this. This is this is what really killed me last time. Jeez. Oh my gosh. And then she's just going to die right here. What the heck? How do you kill off all of my characters and then just doom the last one? What? I... I honestly might just quit this. This might be the first Final Fantasy I skip just in general and call this one good. Because that's insanity. A move that just instantly kills all my people and dooms the one person that it didn't kill instantly. What the heck? That's ridiculous. I don't have to sit through this every freaking time. I'm a little upset at that, actually. I really am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, come on. Man, I set all of that up. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, come on. I'll give this another c 
couple tries. And um, if I can't actually get it. Oh my god, I just have to reset everything up. Alright, Protectoring, Robe of Lords. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, Alright, let's just go with the abilities because that's the more important thing. Uh, nope. Uh, I don't need you. I don't need this. Locomotion Jelly. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Alright, let me look up this Grand Cross thing. Maybe there's some weird trick to it. Because, honestly, that's absolute insanity. Why? Why would it... It just instantly annihilated every one of my characters who were at full health. Grand Cross. Alright, so what does this ability do? Is a recurring enemy? Yeah, okay. 5-9. On a regular basis, usually inflict most severe status effects. Include death and petrify. This version of Grand Cross can be particularly devastating as it can kill a character and inflict zombie uh, status on them simultaneously. The character will keep the zombie even after death, meaning it cannot be revived as healing items. Magic tag to remove? Oh my gosh. There's not really a way to avoid that. Okay. Well, let's... I think this might be my last, uh, my last attempt because honestly, having to redo all of this is just awful. I really actually hate this. Um, I don't need this. Uh, let's see here. Equip. Wow, she really... Uh, I need that. Let's go with this. Oh man, okay, well. It's unfortunate she doesn't have enough uh, stuff. Okay. Alright, we'll try this again. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man. Three deaths and a doom. What the heck? Oh my gosh, that's so awful. Like I said, I'm gonna try this one more time. I'm not. <laughs> I I can't take the setup. All right. Uh. Thievery. Wait, what? Blue magic there. Mighty guard. And now we're just gonna bedeen this. Oh boy.
Terra Homing. Auto Life Ico. Okay. Protect, good for you. All right, dragon, this again. Okay. Yeah, I'm really upset. Mass death on everybody. Also, really ups. Uh. Hmm. I just need to skip some of that. That thing takes forever to cast. Oh, good. Only one person got death. Um, oh man, uh, let's see here, Angel Snack, oh no, oh no. Ugh. Zidane had zombie on. I... I really hate this boss. This boss is just... an annoyance beyond anything. And the fact that it dispels my... my buffs? Uh, let's go with White Wind. Oh, no. <sighs> Summon Phoenix. Honestly, I think I'm just going to keep uh, Queena doing this. Mighty Guard on... Oh! Um... Magic Tag, Zidane. Dragon, Dragon Crest. Summon, Phoenix. Um, <laughs> and white wind. Okay. This boss is such an annoyance. I, I'm actually kind of glad I read the, the grand thing. Because I would have never known how to get him back up. Kiraga. Wow, your Kiraga kind of sucks. <laughs> this is honestly the hardest boss I've fought so far out of all nine games.
Okay, so we can go with Mighty Guard. Yes. Uh, Dragon, we're actually going to do White Draw on Necron. Restore some MP to everybody. We'll just keep doing thievery. You know, there are very few Phoenix summons that I don't like. The Phoenix in this is kind of... Oh, I don't really like the look of it, but the summon is really cool. I personally like eights really well because it where it makes the little outline of fire and then it comes up out of the ground. That's really cool looking to me. Although I don't know if I actually, um, I don't know if if I actually summoned it in one in my playthrough. Oh, oh. Wait, so you just cast Grand Cross and you cast Fire Aga? White draw, okay. Well, Queena doesn't get anything, but that's fine. Mostly, I, I need to get Queena back up. Oh, but she's going to get up here in a second. Dragon Crest. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, I beat him. That wasn't a lot of health. Why do you, why defy your fate? Okay, I gotta pause it real quick. Well, no, I'll continue on. There's probably credits uh, that I gotta go through anyway. Is the will to live that powerful? This is not the end. I am eternal. As long as there is life and death. Are you alright? Yeah, but look what's happening. So what Ku just said was true. The Ifa tree is beginning its violent reaction. What's gonna happen? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. I doubt anyone could survive that explosion. No! Captain! They're still alive. What? Where are they? Over there. <laughs> the Hildegard is probably closer. You, the tall one. Sir! Hagen 
Uh, sir, Hagen, Pluto uh, Knight 8, ma'am. The, so I have one of the, those Google thingies in the living room, and it thought Hagen was um, was me calling to it. I didn't ask for your name. Contact the Hildegard right away. Yes, ma'am. Sir, ma'am. Please be alive. Sire, we're receiving transmission from the Red Rose. Punch it up on the main line. This is the Red Rose. You're not General Beatrix, are Who are you? My name is Makoto. Everyone is alive. You are very close to them. What? How do you know that? I can hear them. Who? Prepare to land immediately. That's the Hildegard Three. Looks like Sid came to rescue us. Sid! Thanks heavens, you're all safe. Come quickly, we don't have much time. Farewell, Zidane. Aw, oh, damn it. What's wrong? Why don't you go on ahead? I'll catch up with you all. I have to take care of something. What? He's still alive. He can't be. Zidane, what are you doing? Steiner, take care of Dagger. Wh what? What do you mean by that? Kuja's still alive. I can't just leave him. This is ludicrous. Just because you two are from the same planet doesn't mean... No, that's not the reason. Come on, Zidane. Why are you doing this? Because. Because I might... I might have done the same thing if I were in his shoes. I probably would have fraud against you guys and wrecked havoc on Gaia like he did. I know it sounds crazy. Alright, hang on a second. I gotta go get something to drink. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, but I know, deep down inside, I have to do this. You're not crazy, Zidane. But you go help Kuja, not good idea. It's too dangerous. I can't just leave him. There's no way... I could live with myself. I'm going. You're making a big mistake. Maybe. But we all have to make big mis big decisions in life sometimes. For me, now's that time. I have to face up to it. Just like Vivi did when he confronted his fears to find about out about himself. That was a big decision for Vivi. I don't know about that. I don't think it was really a big deal. That's what you think, but I might not be doing this if I if it weren't for you. You finally taught me to take life more seriously. Well, you're obviously not going to change your mind, so I'm coming with you. The principle of knighthood requires that one assist his comrade in times of need. I shall accompany you as well. Whoa, wait a minute. Like I said, it's my moment, so don't butt in. You guys will have your own someday. Besides, you guys have more important things to worry about, like Bermisi and Alexandria. 
For once in your life, why can't you be honest? Sorry, but I can't. I can't just walk away. It goes against my nature. You're a real simpleton. Forget it, guys. There's no stopping this fool. What are you still doing out here? Get on board right now. Come on, let's just leave him and get out of here. That guy will never change. Alright, you heard the man. Get out of here before it's too late. Zidane, I love you. You better come back. Zidane, I need to eat more f different food. I still hungry. You need to come back. Take m me more places. Show me more food. I still can't believe you're doing this. You've changed, Zidane. Till we meet again. Zidane, you've taught me another big life lesson in life. Thanks. Zidane. Princess, we must go. Dagger, I mean, your highness. The abduction is over. I can't take you any further. I'm sorry for being so selfish. Yeah, you know, no, you're not being selfish. You've done so much for us. If it weren't for you, I probably would have led a meaningless life. With you, I was able to see so much of the plant of the world and meet so many people. We faced many hardships too, but I think I finally know what's important. I'm so fortunate to have met you. I'll never forget our trip together. Thank you, Zidane. Promise me one thing. Please come back. Kuja, can you hear me? I'm coming to get you. You still have time. Forget about me and go. Just shut up and stay where you are. I don't understand you. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay, that was just weird. Why do they not video animate? That just looks so terrible. Why did they not animate him? That looks so bad. A choice was made, and it was a poor choice. Oh. I get what they're going for.
Okay. Ugh. Whew. Still alive. I guess that was pretty crazy. Hey, are you alright? Zidane. What are you doing here? I thought I told you to go. Wouldn't you do the same for me if you knew I was dying? Never mind. Your comrades were able to escape? Yeah. I knew you had something to do with it. I'm glad they made it. Yeah, well, it's our turn to get moving. I don't deserve to live after all I've done. I'm useless to this world. No one's useless. You helped us escape, remember? After you guys beat me, I had nothing left, nothing more to lose. Then I finally realized what it means to live. I guess I was too late. Hey, don't you go dying on me, alright? Kuja, what did you, what you did was wrong. But you gave us all one thing, hope. We were all created for the wrong reason, but you alone defied our fate. We do not want to forget this. We want your memory to live on forever. To remind us that we were not created for the wrong reason. That our life has meaning. Sometime later. <laughs> so this is Alexandria. Pick up the pace, will ya? I don't believe it. Vivi. Vivi? How do you know that name? What are you talking about? It's Puck. It's me, Puck. How could you forget? Puck. You know Puck. The Prince of Bermesia. Oh, come on. What's wrong with you? If you're not Vivi, then who are you? I'm... Vivi's son. <laughs> Meow. Look at all the Vivis. I always talked about you, Zidane. How you were a very special person to us. Because you taught us all how important life is. Freya, you're leaving soon, are you not? Yes, I can hardly wait to see everyone. Alexandria. I went there many years ago. How long will it take to rebuild Bermesia? I don't care, as long as I am with you. I love you, Freya. Yet he doesn't even 
He still doesn't remember our past. I just want to cherish our time right now. You taught me that life doesn't last forever. That's why we have to help each other and live life to it the fullest. This is auto-progressing, by the way. It's time to say goodbye to this room. Save the queen. You have served me well. My duty is finished here. Farewell, Alexandria. Even if you say goodbye, you'll always be in our hearts. So I know we're not al alone anymore. Hey. Why are you going to Alexandria? You're not going? I never said that. Hey, wait. Why I was born. How I wanted to live. Thanks for giving me time to think. Good food, not only delicious. Good food made with heart. This is very important when cooking for friends. To keep doing what you set what you set your heart on. It's a very hard thing to do. We're all very courageous. Hurry, hurry! We gotta get there before the play begins. Haha, <laughs> there's no need to hurry. The theater ship is no match for my new ship. The new Hildegard is the fastest ship ever. Do I have to remind you? You said the same thing about the theater ship. Ahem. That's what you said, father. Oh, they adopted her. Iko, what did you just call me? Darling, she called you father. Hurry up, mother, father. Say it again, Iko. What do what to do when I felt lonely? That was the only thing you couldn't teach me. But we need to figure it out to answer ourselves. Beatrix. What are you doing? Please don't ask. My mind is already set. Wait, listen to me. I, uh... I never wish to lose you again. Steiner. Let us protect the queen together. I'm so happy I met everyone. I wish I could have gone on more adventures, but I guess we all have to say goodbye someday. And there's the Tantalus crew. All right, you scumbags, we're almost done here. We're almost there. Been a long time since we saw Alexandria. Let's give them a show they won't forget. Yeehaw. Break a leg, people. Everyone, thank you. Farewell. My memories will be part of the sky. So, I saw a, um... Theater ship will arrive in any minute. It's been so long. I can't wait to see everyone. But... Not everyone will be here. It'll never be the same. I have to let go of the past. 
I have to move on, just like he taught me. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. A heroine, Prince Cornelia, is torn from her lover, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle only to be captured by her father, King Leo. Tonight's story begins when Marcus and Cornelia decide to run away together. And now, your royal majesty, Queen Garnet, Lady... Yeah, Noble's Ladies, and our rooftop viewers, Tantalus proudly presents, uh, Let Me Be Your Canary... Marcus! Sweet Marcus, I fear I love thee more than I should. Princess, wilt thou be happy, married to a lowly peasant such as I? Prithee, call me princess no more. Marcus, wilt thou truly cherish me, the king's only daughter? Or is such a desire too dear for wish for? After our nuptials, shall I become no more than a puppet? A mindless puppet, never to laugh, never to cry. I wish to live my life under the sky, and at times I shall laugh, at other times cry. For no other life is more... In yeah, it's going fast. Since such an incon... Uh, mm. Cast away thy trappings of royalty, and I, don't know, I shall swaddle thee in love. Uh, never again will I part from thee. Pray, my love, make me thy canary, and keep me forever in a cage. In the cage of love, or something like that. Let us embark on the first ship tomorrow, before dawn. All my fortunes at thy foot I lay. Ah, no cloud, no squall shall hinder us. Is that a reference to Final Fantasy VIII and it's seven and eight? Oh, love is the sweetest joy and the wildest woe. All I wish to be by my sweet Marcus's side. Fie, I shall be at war unless the marriage. Never will I turn to come to fruition. Good day to ye, highness. Good day. With the of Marcus? Marcus, what news dost thou bring? This. And... The time for our departure is long past. Where's Cornelia? Marcus, the ship soon embarks. Board ye this ship boat alone in peace. Uh, speak, Marcus. She told me that she could not live without me. So the sun is our enemy, too. The eastern sky grows bright. Will we not spread our wings as yonder birds of joyous flight? Hark, Marcus, they cannot wait any longer. The ship departs. Could she have betrayed me? Nay, never would my love speak false. I must have faith. She shall appear, if only I believe. As the sun leads me no near... Ugh. Something. I beseech thee, wondrous moonlight, grant me my only wish. Bring my beloved dagger to me. She grew her hair back, so it's been at least long enough for her to grow hair. Could you actually see her eye under the patch in that scene? I was half expecting them to have set up a rope or something for her to swing from, uh, down from the thing. I think that would have been much more interesting. 
And... I think I have a lot of issues with this plot line, with this story in general. How did you survive? I didn't have a choice. I had to live. I wanted to come home to you. So I sang your song. Our song. Oh, <clears throat> so anyway, um, um, yeah, I've, this is probably one of my least favorite ones. The plot seems at times rushed and at other times at the right pace and the whole ending I'm okay with most of the ending but it sure seemed like that final dungeon we were still learning plot you should have wrapped up your plot your plot ends long before that final dungeon we should have had a clear and concise reason why the uh why the villain was doing what he was doing think of um uh let's let's go through the final fantasy uh five five we knew exactly what x death was doing he was trying to uh he was trying to force everything into the negative zones and we knew that Quieter. We knew that uh, by World 3, and we still had lots to do to prepare. And it was him trying to counter us, uh, counter our preparations. Final Fantasy 6. I mean, we know Kefka's, Kefka's plan to destroy the world. And again, we had lots to do. Uh, Final Fantasy 7. We knew Sephiroth's plan. Sephiroth's plan was to summon the uh, summon the thing to absorb the summon the meteor to absorb the life stream as the plan tried to heal itself. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, we knew that one quite not terribly early, but we did know that one well before the final dungeon. She was trying to achieve time compression. Yeah. It just seemed like we were still learning plot by the very end. And then Necron? He came out of nowhere. They just needed to get rid of Necron and make uh, Kuja a better enemy. And possibly have uh, have somebody actually have um, the Hildegard, Hildegard, uh, Sid's wife, have her actually know his complete plan completely, and and she tells them everything. Basically, she kind of info dumps it. 
or they they discover it somehow early on and so that final dungeon is literally them facing off because he's trying to destroy everything I didn't like having to learn facts as we're going through the final dungeon. <sighs> I'm going to say beyond that, this game is quite fun though. Um, as far as Final Fantasies go... Um, I can't really compare it to the... Uh, I'm just going to compare them based off of the system that they're on. So, of the three PS1 games, this is definitely the bottom of them. Uh, I think 7 is better than this. I think 8 is better than this one. Um, eight's quite fun if you can understand the system <laughs> that goes along with it. Plot's a little... Oh, I thought that said Fuso Ra. I was like, what? Anyway, um, the plot's a little odd, but at least they wrapped everything up. Seven is probably the best of the PlayStation ones. Um, and it's not even, it, it's definitely not my favorite, but I, I think seven had the most solid of the gameplay mechanics and of the plot of all three of these. Um, yeah, I like 8 though, 8's a lot of fun. Uh, this one, the gym system's okay. I don't like the fact that there's no ribbons in this game. That final boss, just a single ribbon that you can get just somewhere, somewhere that prevents all statuses. I'd even accept all but death, all but death effects. I'm fine with that. But the fact that I can't g gain immunity to, like, four statuses just annoys me a lot. Um, Cutscenes were quite fun, though. And some of the people had changes of hearts just a little too quickly. Uh, I hate Steiner, just in general. He just seems to go from... from an absolute, my hated character, my most hated character in any Final Fantasy, to being an okay character, just at the flip of a switch. It's just real weird to me. Oh, well, I'm assuming we're almost over. How did Vivi have kids, my question. And why on earth did Sid and Hildegard adopt Iko? That makes no sense. What? <laughs> why? How? Why? I don't remember her having that many interactions with Sid. All's well, ends well. I think she should have been... I think she should have been, become a uh, second princess. Um, basically become Garnet's sister instead of being adopted by Sid. Oh, that doesn't make any sense to me. All right, enough kind of complaints that, man, that's a lot of loose plot threads that they just kind of hand waved away. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, what the heck is this? <gasps> I can see the cutscenes. What's this thing? What? What? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah, wait, Ranger. Uh. Okay, so this is, um, uh, we'll double, we'll double down. Dang it! 
All right, we're gonna play a couple hands of this. Ooh, split. Uh, hit. Stand. Hit. Wait, didn't? Hit. We'll stand. Uh, 16, 18, 18. Oh, so one's a push. Okay. Um, anyway. Uh, well, thank you all for joining me on this, uh, adventure. Um, I'm gonna take the weekend off. Today's, uh, I think this will come out on Friday, so, um, I won't post anything for, um, Saturday or Sunday, and then we'll start 10 on Monday. Um, honestly, uh, not my favorite, but I love Final Fantasy 10. It is, it's definitely up there. It is, like, third best from in my opinion such a great game such a great game um yeah i love 10 so much it's so good uh but yeah we will start that on monday but until uh then do stay safe out there and we will see you in the next episode bye now